Hello everyone, Kunias here and welcome to episode 2 of the Let's Play in Crusader Kings 2 for the Navaris Meritocracy Attempt. Where, as I remember, as I remind you, our goal is to reach a point where we will be a Basque Qatar with elective monarchy allowing us to have both men and women in power, simply picking the one who has the highest stats in our dynasty. And also seeing just how much we can do as a heretic against, well, a crazy Catholic world and crazy Orthodox world. So, yeah, but for now, of course, our much more short-term goals is just surviving the early game where the strong Umayyads are um, our next-door neighbors and just don't really like us because, you know, they're filthy infidels. Um, however, he had just lost a war last time I checked. He has 1,400 troops left, and I think Asturias has more. Yeah, he currently has double that. We have more. Uh, no, we don't. We have a pitiful amount. However, we do have allies. If we look at diplomatic relations, we are allied with three of the Carlings and Asturias. And apparently we're allied with this guy. Why are we allied with this guy? I don't even know. Whatever, really. Yeah, he's my ally for some reason. I don't expect him to ever... That would be a waste of 50 prestige, but at the same time... I don't care about Cordoba. That's, well, three provinces, including his capital, but... Barcelona is two. Valencia is three, and also maybe tempting? Navarre is one, and it's part of our thing anyway. Toledo is the other two that go with Cuenca. Aragon is much more interesting. Um, yeah, since we'd get three that are right next to us, they would also isolate some of his land. Maybe. Castille is one. And then it's the Jura claims. So, yeah, Aragon or Valencia are the much more interesting ones. Hmm. Since, well, I might the main size as a two out of seven anyway. Uh, I'm currently on Gavelkind, which is a bad thing. A really, really bad thing. Um, if I want to change it, I need to have reigned for 10 years. When did I come into power? In 67. So I have 6 years to go, so I can't change it for 6 years anyway. Alright. Since we can't change it for 6 years, why is our Spymaster there? Cuenca to build sp Oh, right, it's because we assassinated the two morons. Or one of them, at least. Alright! Okay. I am back in command. We're gonna do this! My ruler is unmarried. Oh. My wife died. That's severely unfortunate. Duchess Elody of Burgundy. King Charles the Bald. I do want an alliance with King Charles the Bald of West Francia. That would be nice. Yeah, and he has two daughters who are ripe for the marrying. Um, this one has better overall stats. This one has a better diplomacy score. Um, and they both want to marry me, so, you know. Because, you know, marry a ruler, I'm a ruler. They both want to marry me. That's the logic. This is logic. So, uh, otherwise, Lotharingia? No, we can do without Lotharingia. Yeah, we'll just go with, uh... Actually, do I, well, right now I need alliances, unfortunately. We can't start a eugenics program for now. Yeah, we'll get an alliance with uh, King Charles the Bald. It'll be alright. It will be awesome. Okay. And then once that happens... Actually, we can just do it now. I'm pretty sure a lot of my people will just join my war. Uh, do I want Valencia? Valencia is next to the sea. Castellon or... There's one that has four holdings. They're very much equivalent. It doesn't really matter, ultimately. However, this guy is pretty powerful. And young. And also zealous. Whereas this guy only holds two things, and this guy holds one, so... Actually, by attacking 
holy war, this guy, we're stuck against this guy, and maybe, like, some other of his people might join him. If I look at diplomatic relations... He doesn't have any friends anywhere, really. Alright. And him? No, he doesn't have any friends either. Meh, doesn't matter. Um, I think Aragon's better, though. Yeah, Aragon's better. We're going for Aragon. Hey, you! Holy War for Aragon. And then go, my minions! The King of Italy will join me. He's fighting... Uh, well, the King of Italy will not actually join me. I should have checked that. Stammerer is stuck against the Peasant Revolt that he's winning, so he will join me. And that's pretty much the only alliances we can call upon for now. But... Wow, our armies are pitiful. Why can't I call him to war? I guess because he has a truce. Well, that's a problem. I was counting... I guess they changed that. Yeah, the Stammerer will join me. I am married to... King Charles the Bald, I need... Do I need more dollars? Or do I need prestige? I need more dollars. Yeah, and we're gonna call him into war. And he's like, yeah! And he's hostile towards Vikings, so... He doesn't have anything to do, aside from... You know... Come have some fun with me! Oh, he's already there. In the thick of things. Yeah, let's go. This is maybe bad, but I think... We're, no, we're winning. Yeah, okay, we... Gonna have to kill some of his troops. Slowly. Louis the Stammerer will probably join me more openly once he's done with his other problems. Same with the King of Italy, really. I'm gonna lay siege to Dad for now. Oh, there he is! There he is! What's he doing? He's like, I'm gonna siege. No, I'm not. I'm gonna siege. No, I'm not. I'm gonna siege. No, I'm not. It's okay. He's bringing more troops. And what's the king of Italy doing? He's probably busy fighting Lotharingia. He's attacking Lotharingia over the Shore War. Oh, we can imprison someone. Who is she? My daughter-in-law, the princess of Italy, and the hair. Whoa, 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 whoa. The hair of Italy. The hair of Italy. Wants to murder Prince Eneko. My son! Huh. That's not gonna happen. But. Nice try. Because. Hair of Italy. That's. That's. That's amazing. How are you doing? You're like 36, your wife's 37. Oh, but she is pregnant. Oh. If she gets a son, no longer the hair of Italy. If she gets a daughter, we're fine. That's amazing. Yeah, we'll forgive you. You tried very nicely. If you were trying to kill your dad, then we'd be in talking, but uh, you're not trying to kill your dad, unfortunately. So I have two very efficient allies who are just, like, allowing me to stomp things. And he's going to slowly replenish his troops, though. Holy crap. He can get up to 10,000 right now. I gotta go, uh, kill that. Where's he going? Catalyd? Once he gets there. 27 October. Okay, where's he going? Saracasta for 11 November. He'll get there before us. Alright, we'll just get, get the siege to keep going. 
This will save itself in time. Where's he going? He's going to Alto Aragon? Is he going to try to siege me? Yeah, he is. Alright, we've sieged one thing. We're going to kill his army. Although maybe we want better leaders, like this guy. And this guy. And my son, who hates me. Why does my son hate me? Son, why you hate? He hates because gavel kind. I understand. I understand your pain so much. You have a claim on Koenka. Oh, that's the other thing, the other reason you hate me. That's okay, we'll get rid of Gavelkind soon enough. Wow, it's an unled army. It's like 17,000 people who are all unled. Oh, Belasco became a tough soldier. That's a horrible uh, way to go, but... Alright, get married to... Uh, Ooh, ooh, we can get more allies. What, King Louis the Stammer? Why are we not allied with him anymore? I thought we were. Maybe we are, and the game just doesn't remember it. Yeah, we're already allied with King Charles the Bald. I guess it's just to reinforce the alliances. Oh well, King Rodi the Great of Wales. A Portuguese kid. Duke of Galicia. Ah... Uh. All these kids are kind of worthless. I'm going to find someone who's a genius. I thought I could look for traits. Oh, we found someone who's quick. Maybe. Strong, but sickly. She's three. Hmm. Strong. She's three. Attractive. Three. We must start the eugenics program somewhere. We will groom people to lead. Aha! She's two and she's a genius. Cortian Gores. Let's see. Attractive, attractive. We found one genius. Yeah, we found one genius and she's two. We'll go for her. You'll look forward to marrying her when she actually becomes a woman. Alright. We have a betrothal. Prefer matrilineal marriage, but... You know. She's a genius. Not gonna happen. Kill his army. I'm gonna keep killing his army. I'm gonna go on Sara Cuesta and just siege it. I apologize for butchering names. That's just what I do. But that, as far as I can tell, is also just what any Crusader Kings 2 Let's Player does at some point in their life. They just butcher names of provinces. Because provinces have diverse cultures and we're all English speaking here. I mean, the ones I follow. And technically my first language is even French, so... That's even more amusing! <sighs> Excellent. This siege is gonna go through. It's gonna take a while. He doesn't seem to be acting up though. And I killed his troops, so that surely reduced his Yeah, he's he's back up to uh well what I killed. Four thousand men. He probably won't have time to refill his uh things in time. Alive! Good. Oh, my son is ill. Oh my nephew. Huh. He's my nephew. We'll educate him, I guess my son. Yeah, my son is a fortune builder. Yeah, he has good traits aside from his zero diplomacy. What's his current ambition? He wants to become steward? Wow. Rashid is, uh... Sympathy for Christendom, sympathy for Jewism. Wow, this guy is cool. I have respect. Even though he's a filthy heretic. I mean, he didn't. Interesting. The fact he has this means I don't dislike him for being a Sunni. That's amazing. That's amazing. They finally included traits like that. This is amazing. We don't just hate each other for having different fates. That's amazing. And it's going to be a very important aspect of our meritocracy. 
I mean, not really, since we want Katars, so we can have women in power when they have good stats. But, uh... Oh, wow, they keep sending more troops. That's amazing. France is just... allowing us to stomp them. So bad. Oh, and he's not even gonna stick around, he's just gonna siege something else. That's amazing. Ooh, a son! A grandson! I have a grandson! Huzzah! And you still hate me. Short reign and dishonor. I don't remember. Oh, I, I know, I know I'm dishonorable. It's because I murdered people here. But that's okay, they had to die. Can press the Jure Ducal claims. I'm not gonna go to war with my ally here. I'm already going to war with my ally, the Umayyads, with air quotes. Why is he expanded so much? You must stomp his expansion while we can. The Reconquista will happen, like, 500 years early, and it's gonna be awesome! Oh, there's an army that's coming that wants to die. It's gonna be my pleasure to murder it. Who's she? She's a Bedouin Sunny. She's gonna... She's... Her husband is dead. So there's probably no one who cares about her. Let's just throw in Dubliet and forget about her entirely. The French are probably fine. Yeah, no, they're not fine. But that was close! They almost turned things around. Who are you? You're Basque Catholic. Why are you in prison? Imprisoned attraction to maimed. Oh, right, I'm maimed, so I could die at any... Oh, crap, I could die at any time. That would be terrible. That would be absolutely terrible. Um, you're here to Cuenca? I'm just gonna... For now, just in case. Grant you... I can't grant you Cuenca. Why can't I grant you Cuenca? Oh, because someone else is in line to inherit it. I can't cheat Gavelkind anymore. That's even more annoying. Uh, I'm gonna let her rot, and then I'm gonna see if I can't ransom her. No interest? Fine, I'll just release her from prison. I don't even know why she's in prison, I don't care. She's some kind of nobody with horrible stats anyway. She doesn't matter! Oh, we won the siege. He's coming for Albarasin. We're gonna go save the French. How dare they! Oh, the guy was wounded. This guy's actually cool! I have respect for him! Even though he hates me because I'm dishonorable, I have short reign, and he's a foreigner. But I have respect for this guy! Okay. 16 January. Once he gets there, we'll ambush him and kill him. It shall be glorious! Also filled with murder. Thirteen January! Let's go! Can you escape? No, you can't! Oh crap, there's another army that's coming. Well, your army's dead. Um, if I look at this province, between Albarakin and... So, so if I want to attack him, I'd have to come from elsewhere. Like here. We're gonna reposition ourselves so we can attack him better. Wow, he has a lot of troops. March 6th. We're making, them down. We're making it on March 10th. Here. March 19. March 23. Ah! We must catch up to those armies before they get too big. Oh, I think King Louis the Stammerer just left his army behind. 
Must go regroup. Oh, my son wants to be a chancellor. Or, I mean, court chaplain. Who's my current court chaplain? Some nobody who's materially married to my... Oh, okay. You've barely better. Fine. Become my court chaplain. I don't care. I really don't care. Do I need to do some religious conversions anywhere? Not yet! Alright, you're not gonna do anything yet. Then you're gonna hang out. Okay, we rejoined with Louis de Stammerer's army. What does your army look like? 4,000. Ah, uh, it's so close. Must find and kill his army right now. Right now. Is he fighting another war? No, he's not. So his only justification for doing anything is because he's at war with me. Must find and kill his army. It's not even moving. Oh, he'll make it out. He'll make it out again. Where is his army? Wait, it's down there. I've seen it. I have to box his army in. And also probably put a better leader here. Like this guy! Excellent news. Um, let's hire some mercenaries. And, uh... The Scottish band. They'll probably die. But their job is to buy us time. To allow us to circle them. God has a plan for everything and everyone! I'm not zealous. Oh. I wanted to be zealous. River crossing penalty would be woeful if not for the Scottish that are coming. Crap, our morale is actually taking a beating. Oh, but his took the worst beating. Alright, good. Let's dismiss the mercenaries now. Uh, now? Yeah, we can, I guess we could dismiss them now. Uh, yeah, we don't need the mercenaries anymore. We'll just dismiss the mercenaries. Then we're gonna hunt him. We're gonna keep killing his army. Killed like a pitiful amount. He's escaping to Larida. We're gonna keep killing his stuff until he surrenders. Wait! That looks like surrender to me! Yeah! Surrender! Huzzah! We've gained a ton of stuff! Beautiful! And our army is now nothing. But that's okay. We have gained the things. Uh huh. This, this, and the Cataliud. Okay! Excellent. Most excellent. So, you now absolutely despise me. Can I revoke your title? Could take his chi. Can I change my laws yet? I have not. Okay. Who are my vassals anyway? 
I only have one vassal who's like really strong and it's the Duke of Aragon and he has a lot more troops than I do that means at this point Castilian Catholic, Basque Catholic, so these countries are Basque Catholic Catalan Catholic so many cultures so many cultures it's good that the Umayyad is getting weaker but he's still very very strong where did 10,000 troops come from he still has access to 10,000 troops hell if I have to deal with that I'm screwed um... I want to revoke his duchy and his county. I want to revoke both. Can I imprison him? I'm gonna try to imprison him and take all his titles. I'm gonna be super tyrannical and expect to die soon. Um. Oh, he's my marshal. Whoops, we need a better marshal. This guy actually wants to become marshal. It's gonna be my pleasure. And suppress. Where is he right now? He's currently reigning in Jaca, Alto Aragon. Good! Where's it, Jaca? Eh, mispronunciation. I'm a master. Alright, I'm gonna shove this guy in prison now. Oh, now he's like super pissed. I failed to shove him in prison! Whoops! King Louis the Stammerer will join me. Asturias will join me. King Charles the Bald will not join me. Oh wow, the Umayyads will join me. <laughs> this is unexpected and the King of Italy will not join me. Okay. Let's go, let's see what happens. Asturias will join me. The Umayyads will join me. <laughs> and the Stammerer will join me. This is amazing. This is like... This is hilarious. If there was one thing I would not expect, it's like, I've just won a holy war against you, now come help me against this moron. This is amazing. This is simply amazing. He became a tough soldier. And he's almost actual. Wow, you're horrible. Get married to, like, the Duchess of Burgundy or whatever. I don't care about her. Not my problem. Okay. Are you fighting another war? No, you're not. Why are you, like, dilly dallying before coming to fight my war? It's so great to have allies. Okay. Oh, he managed to escape. He's going just to siege with like 5,000 men. I guess that's a convincing way to win. Don't worry, I'm sure one of my other allies will crush his army. Is the Umiads busy? No, he's not fighting anything else. He's fighting. Well, he's being raided, but for a while that's worth. Oh wow, he's just like raiding. Oh, my chancellor died. No, new chancellor. Let's keep fabricating claims on like Ireland. Whoa, Jorvik took a piece of Ireland. Yeah, Ireland is like screwed in the North start. Hmm. Alto Aragon is now at 78% war score, and they're gonna lose, like, really soon. The morale is gonna die. The Duchy of Aragon can be usurped, but I actually can't usurp it. Uh, you are not ready for a fief. But it's okay, you'll marry a duchess, so you know. You'll rule by proxy or whatever. 
Oh, 100% war score. Come on, surrender. Go to jail. Yeah. Now I'll take your cunty. Ooh, he's out. Oh, and that was all the time we had. Perfect timing. We have uh, taken every single piece of land for ourselves. And on that note, we shall end it for now. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time where we'll wait for truce timers to expire and we'll try to actually build up our stability. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.